and welcome back to a new week, a new game. This time I bring you a bit of a surprise. I bring you Godzilla for the PlayStation 4. Press any button and get into this, the, the main menu area here. Never played the game, so they can't go down to continue, but we can go to start. Before I press start, though, we're going to talk a little bit about Godzilla for the PlayStation 4. Now, you may not be aware of this game, and I'm not surprised if you're not. It was not a very popular game. It came out in 2015, and it did not have great reviews. There's no digital edition of this Godzilla game available on the PlayStation, at least not in the North America market. As for the Asia market, I'm not 100% sure. Haven't checked. Maybe it is. I believe Godzilla is a lot more popular out there in Asia than he is out here in the States, which is sad because I really like Godzilla. We miss out on quite a bit of few things because popularity of that particular thing is just not popular out here. So on Metacritic, it has a score of 38. I mean, take that as you see it. Some people might not think Metacritic is a good source for finding what people's reviews and things and stuff like that are. But it has 43 negative reviews, one positive review, and 12 mixed reviews, but 75% negative. The one positive review is from Gaming Age, and it just says, it's absolutely rough around the edges, but there's some fun to be had here. So just something short along those lines. If you've played any of the Godzilla or War of the Monster games, like on PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox, it's all about going in and just fighting monsters, destroying the city in the process, but being the last monster standing. And it doesn't seem like they have changed that format out of, like, I think this is the fourth game that they did that was kind of just that format. They try to put a bit of a story into it as well, but it's really about monster brawls. And I'm hoping with this game, they kept it that way. Uh, I'm going to go to the, the worst review. We're going to go see what the most negative of reviews are. And these are critic reviews, by the way. Uh, we're going to go with 20 from PlayStation Official Magazine, UK. Stale gameplay, unevactive level design, and a control scheme that's about as responsive as a cave troll on ketamine. Rough words <laughs> from PlayStation Official Magazine UK. All right. By the way, I think this is the only system that this particular Godzilla game was released in the States. They did have a PlayStation 3 version for it out in Asia, but out here, we just got this PlayStation 4 version. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. As Bandai Namco was the, the publisher on this, you think it would be a little bit better. 60 years, 60 years ago. ago. Oh, okay, I don't have to talk. Fine. That was when Godzilla first appeared. A 50 meter tall kaiju that laid ruin to a city center. Godzilla may not have been fast on his feet, but the threat he posed to mankind was undeniable. No, to move. Change direction like this. We know that Godzilla's claws and his powerful tail constitute his primary means of attack. Building as you make your way to the TV tower. Strong attack. Let's do another strong attack with his big old tail. He's gonna do claw attack. And then grab, but I don't think he's really anything to grab. That he used his oversized upper body to charge at his target. Thrust body forward in a charge attack. <laughs> 
That was a pretty durable building for a charge. It only lets me do charge now, too. It couldn't do regular attacks. Atomic breath. A blast attack from his mouth, which can turn a town into a sea of fire in seconds. Oh, near the lady. Ooh, we press up and oh. Oh. There's a temperature gauge we gotta wait for. There's a little sweep attack there. Change the camera angle. This thing's in my way. Hit the wrong thing. I guess it still blew up. I need a temperature gauge again. Oh, it didn't go. Just gotta squeeze fast here. Can't squeeze fast, can't hit. Have to use this. Uh, I'll take that building. This is all the biological data we currently have on record. But we know very little about how or why he possesses such unimaginable powers. Use all Godzilla's moves to bring down the TV tower. That thing right there. Who took away Japanese broadcast of Golden Girls? Godzilla angry. Godzilla want Golden Girls back. That's my reason for why Godzilla's going crazy right now. Rotate, rotate, use the tail, yeah. Hit with the claw, bam, and then some breath. Ah. We did it. I earned a trophy, I can't return this game anymore. At the time, Godzilla returned to the sea at the dear cost of Professor Sarazawa's life. So many paid the ultimate sacrifice back then. But humanity gained two valuable things as a result. Salt and pepper. The first is G-Energy. Oh. As a result of our studies, we discovered the very essence of Godzilla's life force and turned it into a powerful fuel for humanity. Now, without G-Energy, our civilization would fall apart within a very short span of time. The second is G-Force. If the worst should happen and Godzilla or anything of equal threat to mankind should ever appear again, G-Force is there to remove the threat. And that's where you come in, ma'am. Excuse me? As far as the public knows, G-Force is merely a response that, unit created to handle disasters. If you learn anything, you'll contact it's me It's sir. Correct? So now, after 60 years, there are signs that Godzilla has returned. I'll give you the short explanation, ma'am. Should Godzilla ever appear again, we will need you and the cabinet to set the disaster level. We at G-Force will then respond accordingly. So I'm ultimately responsible for our strategy to Godzilla. I will not hesitate to act, soldier. Although it may very well cost me my political career. Gotta find signs that Godzilla has returned. Hey, this city's been destroyed by a giant monster. <gasps> Godzilla's returned. They use G-Force, huh? Just flying around planes, taking real sharp turns. Going up and down, good old G-Force. Hey, we made it to the menu. We got past the tutorial. Godzilla grows large enough to wipe out human civilization. God of Destruction mode. King of Kaiju mode, which is fight against wave after wave of Kaiju. That sounds fun. Versus mode. Network battle against other players. I'm curious if that's still available. Evolution mode. Evolve Godzilla to become even more powerful. And then you got diorama mode, which is currently locked. Create scenarios using collected figures. You can find figures here. I can make a diorama. Kaiju guide. View the Kaiju guide. I would love to, but currently don't have anything. Uh, I guess we gotta go down God of Destruction mode. Go ashore. Invade. Defend. Resume progress. Defend humanity as an ally kaiju. 
Invade as another kaiju. Begin Godzilla's rampage from stage one. And I guess it shows his height, evolution, his route. Could resume progress, which we don't have. We could do the tutorial again in good old black and white. There's also rankings, so you can view network rankings. And data entry to view collected data. Guess we'll just go ashore. Absorb as much G energy as you can to make Godzilla grow. That's all I caught from that. Up a strong signal. It's heading to the surface. Is this Godzilla Godzilla? never forgot about Golden Girls. We had another trophy, just for seeing a cutscene. We cannot determine whether it is the same Godzilla as in our records. What does oh. Godzilla want? Multiple oh, Godzillas. No. Not the generator. Godzillas. Godzillas. It must be the G energy generator. It's the only explanation as to why he chose to come ashore in this area. We discovered G energy because of him, but it turns out the stuff is his favorite meal. Oh no. Maybe Godzilla holds How a could grudge. we make such a After mistake? All, the reason he was born in the first place was. Uh, uh, forgive me. I spoke out of turn. It's fine. We need to consider all lines of thinking here. Don't talk about how he came to we be. We are going to disaster level one. We must protect our country. So this is like Katamari, but with Moving Godzilla. Commence level one response, ma'am. We're like we roll a ball to get bigger, but in Godzilla's case, we destroy those factories to get bigger. Destroy all generators in the area. Generators house G Miter. Kaiju must be defeated if they appear. Right. Destroying things, buildings, tanks make Godzilla grow. The bigger he becomes, the stronger he becomes. Destroy objects, absorb Z energy, grow in size. Be aware that destroying things raises the disaster level and increases the difficulty. Completing bonus goals, e.g. destroying a set number of tanks, gains you a huge boost in G energy. Alright, clear condition, destroy all generators, extra bonus condition, destroy eight helicopters. Here I go, everybody. I can collect data. Apparently, I can just... Oh god, my controller's talking to me. What are we collecting data on? Data collection is proceeding as planned. Oh. Second squad, uh. begin your assault. Secondary target identified. I need to hit those guys. Invincible emergency dodge. Oh god, the screams of terror. How do I hit these helicopters? That do it. Hey, hey, hit that helicopter. Hit him. Hit the helicopter. Oh, I can't hit that helicopter. That's right, I roared. That was me. Godzilla has reached zone four. Yes, he Four's has. Squad, begin your assault. Ooh. Step on that tank. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The generator is losing power. It'll be destroyed if we don't do something. Oh. Measures are operating at optimum levels. Good, get back. We don't have enough time to get back. I don't know how I can destroy a helicopter. 
Oh, I guess we just destroyed one. <laughs> just fall into it. Now we go over here and destroy these tanks. Uh, Don't forget how to pick things up. Yeah, we gotta rotate with the L and R1 buttons. Power generators in the area are destroyed. We're gonna get pick up a tank and like throw it at a helicopter, but uh, forget how to do that. The generator's power levels have hit zero. Godzilla is far larger than when he came ashore, ma'am. Two centimeters he taller. The matter he absorbed. It's accelerating his growth. You were right. He came ashore in search of food. And he found Incredible. it. Incredible. But I doubt it'll be enough to satisfy 60 years of hibernation. Was well, that what you think I was doing I this entire time? Godzilla was thinking right now. Do you think he will search for another food source? I'm just trying to watch my figure. And I have to worry about the people's doubts. I hope they don't call for my head. There's no one else in politics who's equipped to handle such difficult decisions. But there's plenty of people who will pretend they do. Where is Godzilla heading? Oh, those. Tutorial citizens get anxious when Godzilla is on the rampage in their area. This can trigger a change in leadership. The speed at which the disaster level is raised depends on the leader in charge. Speed level for Hatoga is Hatogaya, slow, is raised by Chujo, normal. Leader, Takasu, fast, hard. The top route is always the easier of the two. Let me just turn this into a roguelike. Oh, do you want to go hard? See what hard looks like? It's a playthrough. Let's do it. Beating Kaiju earns you something. Godzilla has entered the area. He's going after the generator. I came here to get hard. We have no idea how big he can get. Better that we get the party started sooner rather than later. Air condition destroy generators, extract bonus. Right. 
was over here. I guess those red circles on the map are like areas that we go to get the data collecting. So that's what we'll do. We'll walk over there. He's hitting me. He's hitting me hard. Come here, you. Let me just turn around. Dare uh, you dare? I turn my camera around, please. Thank you. So we don't really have an update. This is just all just straight up attack. Godzilla is approaching the generator. The giant kaiju has been weakened. But it has not been defeated. Flames around us. I think that means we're getting hurt. Hit him with that blast. Oh, that blast didn't really do anything. Oh god, I think we're gonna die. Boom, we beat him. Has gone down. I guess it might be too much to hope that if he defeats his enemy, he'll forget about the generator. Hey. You forget nothing, woman. about to die right there. <laughs> Hit a helicopter. Only one generator still operational. It won't be for long.
generators. Yeah. I'm a monster. The area has been destroyed by Godzilla. It's hard to say if any of this was worth it. Took about six minutes to do all that. Got a lot of data collected. Both areas are potential landing points. Oh. Oh, we can just go hard again. Let's see what a normal is. Leader is still Taksu. Data collected 5%, but if I go this way, it becomes Shujo. So from that person, leadership change. Shujo is now in charge. To rise to this position. Godzilla is on the move. He's taken the exact route we predicted. What the people want is decisive action that bespeaks integrity. People aren't asking for that. He's just misreading the tweets. Unidentified creature confirmed. It's arriving shortly. Bring it on. Sixty seconds. Uh, bring it on. Kaiju, you bring me this time. Oh no, it's Sludgy Pete. Everyone has red beans. It's Hedora. Oh yeah, Hedora. Yeah, I knew that one. Sixth squad, begin your assault. I've got the skies covered. Are at zero. It looks to have been completely destroyed. So where's the door at? Figured you would come charging in.
there he goes. Hit Hedora. I <laughs> hear. Now that Godzilla has defeated his enemy, he's sure to turn his attention to the generator. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna. Uh. <laughs> generator offline. Only one generator still operational. We still gotta go do something else. Over here. We got some data collected to go do. We can switch to the video feed at the data collection point. This way. The data collection squad is requesting orders. Is that the White House? Oh, we just humped the White House. Get all the sentry turrets over here. Oh, you got your big towers. You got your big towers, G Force. Stationary guns have the tower. Ah, charge them. And hop them. We are a monster. Godzilla survived. Determine the reason for our loss at once. Yeah, Prime Minister. Try and figure out the reason you lost. It's because you're weak. It's because you're weak. Both areas are potential landing points. Oh, yeah, what if I want to go backwards? I'm going to return to the menu. Sure. Yep. Go evolution mode? Is that just like a whole mode? Any evolution made here will not transfer to data currently in progress in God of Destruction mode. Ah. To transfer, select Go Assured either God of Destruction mode or King of Kaiju mode. Okay. Well, never mind then. But we did unlock Hedora and Abatra and Godzilla in 1964. And currently we're just using Godzilla. So I guess as you progress and more start to show up, then you get different kaijus. Actually, let me go back to that real quick. Because there's a lot of kaijus there. 
Look at all these question marks. So many. And they gave us some like lesser unknown type kaiju too. I know there's going to be like different types of Godzillas. Because just in the opening scene too it showed the more recent like Godzilla vs Kong Godzilla. And this Godzilla minus one Godzilla essentially just looks like this guy. Can just level him up. Increases charge, increases gauge, 180 turn. Mothra larva cells, Mothra adult cells. Okay. Wants us to have specific types of people. Godzilla cells, evolution cells. On top of just evolution energy. So what about you guys? Use the required materials to unlock. Oh yeah, I could use one of the Hedora cells to unlock Hedora. I can I'm gonna unlock a Hedora. Let's go unlock Batra too. Let's unlock a Batra. And we already have 1964 unlocked. We do. What else can you do? We have a Batra cell. If I get evolution energy, I can get a figure that I can be used in a diorama. Isn't that great? Isn't that so cool? But yeah. That's Godzilla for you. Uh, King of Kaiju mode I'm curious about. It's just wave after wave. I bet you this is how you get different cells and probably the easiest way to get the different kaiju unlocked. So we can choose to be Hedora if we want to be Hedora or Batara or Godzilla 1964. You can see the zipper in the back. We're not going to. Uh, it's It's been past 30 minutes it's, as is this video is probably going to be over 30 minutes but I wanted it to get in here I've been getting a lot of console games and I want to play these console games and so I will at some point be recording myself playing a series of different types of console games and maybe we shall see them as series on the YouTube channel later on down the line but yeah why don't you let me know what do you think? Do you think that this Godzilla game's fun? I had a fun time playing the game. I guess I should actually let's let's start uh, start with me. I'm I'm the first comment in the comments section. Uh, I had a fun time playing it. The destruction, the turning radius, and like the camera controls can be kind of like because eh, I'm not thinking about it at the time. They don't have like uh, an auto camera that just follows over the shoulder of Godzilla, lets you kind of swoop and move around, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. It's just about remembering like maybe I should face this way. And you just check your mini map tells you where everything's at too, which is good. Um, the perspective of the camera behind the monster as opposed to being a top-down kind of thing isn't a bad perspective I kind of like it um, they're very influenced by the movie and of course the long history of Godzilla with its multiple movies that it's had um, I like that because I I like Godzilla I don't want to say like oh I'm a huge fan of Godzilla um, I'm I, I like Godzilla I watched it growing up of course being out here in the states I think my first real introduction to Godzilla was probably that Godzilla movie that was like the CG Godzilla doesn't look anything like the original look more uh, like a, a giant mutated T-Rex and they brought it to New York had uh, Ferris Bueller in the movie so that was those neat good old Ferris Bueller but a uh, friend of the channel, Vlog Dog, is a very big Godzilla fan. And what he's going to do is he's going to go into the comments section and he's going to let you know what he thought about this little video. 
And if he thinks the game looks fun, and then he's gonna, he's just gonna freestyle from there with a rap, like maybe a verse or two, because he's he's been doing that recently. I don't know what's going on with him. And then he's he's gonna ask to play this game, because he he wants to try it out. He's gonna be like, come over to my house, play this game. You can already predict his comments. He's gonna watch this video. He's gonna hear everything I just said. And he's gonna go down the comments section. He's gonna leave everything just like that, just as I said it. It's crazy that guy. But he's a big Godzilla fan. He had a, a whole VHS collection of all the old school Godzillas with the terrible English dubs, which were absolutely hilarious to watch, as none of the uh, emotion that was on the people's face, as opposed to the emotion of the voice actor, matched. And some of the words would not sync up. One of those things where it's like they would say the word in English, but the uh, actor on screens of lips are still moving it's hilarious uh, but I can also see how this game would get repetitive too where you're just kind of going in you're doing the Godzilla story you're kind of doing this roguelike as it progressively gets more difficult but you're essentially doing the same thing over and over again destroying the cells fighting more kaiju destruction waves i think after a while you can get kind of burned out on doing things like that but really that's what giant monster kaijus do i mean i can't see you going into a level where you're doing something where it's like godzilla needs to go and find an herb in the mountain for some reason he's got an upset stomach all those g cells are acting weird or uh, he, we're gonna do the swimming level where he's under the ocean and he's gotta eat fish. Like, I don't see those being things. Uh, the fact that they had like a diorama mode, which I wish I could have got into. Being able to get different figures and <laughs> posing them and like doing that, setting up like your own little screenshots. That's great. That's a real fun thing. Cause I know there's probably people out there who do stuff like that. I do uh, Gundam models, and there's people who will make dioramas, and some really cool dioramas using Gundam models. So to think about it, yeah, there's, there's going to be people out there. I've actually seen somebody who did the uh, new Godzilla, minus one Godzilla, and did a diorama of him, like, blowing up or just launching a beam, and all the details and, like, the burning through the buildings and stuff like that was really good. So I'm curious to see what kind of details they give you in a diorama mode and the kaiju guide. I'm surprised I did not unlock anything because we did see some kaiju. But it's not going to give us anything in the kaiju guide. Meh. But hey, fun times were had. We didn't play any of the other kaiju, but hey, maybe we will. All right, uh, back to let me know what you think about the game. Let me know what you think about Godzilla. Are you for giant lizards and monsters and such destroying towns? Is that something you, you like watching? You a Godzilla fan out there? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have a different type of kaiju game that you would recommend? I know there's more than just this one. Have you played this game? Have you heard of this game? Are there any console games out there that you would like to see me play. I have a slew of them, and we're watching me currently play uh, Dot Hack Outbreak now on disc three out of four. And that, that's a console game, playing that on the PlayStation 2. So yeah, just, you know, use that comments section. Put things down there. Even if you want to write out the word things and just leave it in the comments section, do that. Flock Dog's not allowed to do that. I'm banning him from being able to do that. Better not do that, Flock Dog. Don't write just things and leave it in my comment section. Express yourself. Tell me how you're feeling. How did your last bowel movement go? I'm sure the audience would really like to hear about it. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.